Hello, my name is Lauren Vincent, Quality Consultant for Registry Partners. Welcome to the August 2023 CTR Coding Break. For today's topic, we will discuss coding radiation therapy. When coding radiation treatment, registrars are encouraged to utilize the CTR Guide to Coding Radiation Therapy, which is now available within the 2023 Store Manual Appendix R. Today's coding break objectives include clarification on phase terminology and coding instruction, coding the treatment volume when the primary site organ has been removed, and coding instruction for adding doses across multiple phases. Store defines a phase as a set of treatments delivered with a unique combination of target volume, treatment fraction size, treatment modality, and treatment technique. A course of radiation is made up of one or more phases, and each phase includes a target volume and a delivered prescription. A phase represents the radiation prescription that has actually been delivered. Phases can be delivered sequentially or simultaneously. In sequential phases, a new phase begins when there is a change in the anatomic target volume of a body site, treatment fraction size, modality, or technique. The details of up to three phases of radiation can be collected. If there are more than three phases in a radiation course, STORE instructs to collect and report the details of the first three phases, but to report the actual number of first course phases in the number of phases of radiation treatment in this course field. Appendix R also contains phase order rules. It is recommended that phases be summarized first in chronological order. If multiple phases start on the same day, then list the phases in order from highest to total phase dose to lowest. If multiple phases start on the same day and have the same total phase dose, then any order is acceptable. Case example number one. A patient with primary breast cancer received radiation to multiple metastatic sites at the same time. She received 2,500 CGY to the spine and 3,000 CGY to the brain. What order Will these two phases be coded? Using the phase order rules, the site with the highest dose is considered the first phase. Therefore, radiation to the whole brain would be considered phase one, and radiation to the spine would be considered phase two, as the patient received a higher dose of radiation to the brain. Radiation course total dose identifies the total cumulative dose of radiation administered to the patient across all phases during first course treatment. Doses should only be summed across phases to create a total dose when all of the phases were delivered using the same major modality type and targeting the same volume. If phases were delivered using two or more different major modalities, for example, external beam and brachytherapy to the same body site, then code 99998. This is because there is no agreed upon standard for summing doses across different radiation modalities. It's also important to note you should never add doses across different target volumes. When the phases target different volumes, the total dose recorded is the highest dose delivered to any one phase. Doses are added across phases only when they are attributed to the same target volume. Case example number two. A 67-year-old male was diagnosed with Gleason 9 prostate adenocarcinoma. The radiation end of treatment summary dictated the patient received IMRT to the whole pelvis. The patient also received high dose brachytherapy to the prostate. 
This one total dose is reported as 4,500 CGY. The phase two total dose is recorded as 2,700 CGY. What is the radiation course total dose? Per store coding instruction, there is no standard for summing a dose from brachytherapy with an external beam dose. Total dose will be coded to 99998 for mixed modality treatment. Appendix R in the store manual also provides instruction for coding the volume when the primary site organ has been removed. Store states in most cases code the volume to the organ removed. If the whole pelvis is treated following prostatectomy, hysterectomy, or cystectomy, code the volume to the organ of cancer origin and lymph nodes to pelvic. There are two exceptions to this rule. Brachytherapy after hysterectomy is a gray area. If the vaginal apex is treated with brachytherapy after hysterectomy for cervical or uterine cancer, code the volume to 72 vagina because that is the target organ for treatment. Also for patients with breast cancer receiving postmastectomy radiation where all breast tissue has been removed, the treatment volume is coded to chest wall and not breast. Case example number three. A 55 year old is diagnosed with endometrioid adenocarcinoma following a total abdominal hysterectomy and received adjuvant radiation. The radiation end of treatment summary dictated Phase one treated the whole pelvis with 4,500 CGY, and phase two treated the vaginal cuff with intracavitary high dose brachytherapy. What will the volume for phase one and phase two be coded to for this case? Phase one volume is coded to 71 uterus or cervix. If the primary site in the pelvic region is surgically resected, code the primary irradiated volume to the primary site. The radiation summary states the whole pelvis was treated. This includes the regional lymph nodes, which are captured in the radiation to nodes field. The phase two volume is coded to 72 vagina when intracavitary HDR brachytherapy is administered to the vaginal cuff for endometrial or cervical cancer post-abdominal hysterectomy, the primary irradiated volume is the vagina because the vaginal surface is the organ most at risk for recurrence and therefore the target of the radiation treatment. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for watching.